guys, happy Monday. I thought I would film another weekend outfit. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock now. I've just popped out to get a chai latte and now I'm back home to do a bit of work. I actually think I'm gonna kind of take it a little bit easy today. I ended up working most of yesterday. So I started at 10 in the morning and then I didn't finish until 7.30 at night. So I kind of feel like I can, you know, take things a little bit slow today, not push myself too hard, maybe have an early mark. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit chilly today. I was wearing a coat and I will uh, probably wear that if I have to go out again. Um, but let me kind of talk you through accessories first. I am wearing some earrings. These are newish. Uh, they're from Majuri and you may notice I have a little bit of a thing for pearl earrings. I just love that detail. I know it's a huge trend at the moment, but I also think that they're quite timeless and elegant. And I really love the size of the pearls on these ones. My watch that I am wearing, as always, is my Linear Petite watch. And as you can see, we're in a new location. I thought the lighting might be a bit better here in the bedroom. So we moved the mirror in here. Um, I am wearing my Joseph oversized sweater, which I've kind of just done a bit of a messy French tuck into these high-waisted skinny jeans from Grana. I got these a while ago and they were on sale and honestly one of the best bargains I think I ever got. I think they're around $40 or something like that. They're so comfortable, just a really nice stretch denim. Unfortunately, I think most sizes have sold out, uh, but I would double check their website. My shoes are from Linnea Paolo and they're a really good dupe for the Dior Slingback Flats. I don't know if you can see that, but they have a little bow detail on the sides, which I think is really nice. They're pretty comfortable, though I do think they're probably a bit more suited for a narrow foot. You can probably see the indentation there from my toes. I went with the US 9, which is my usual size in shoes. And yeah, they, they're definitely a little bit snug, but they don't feel like they hurt. My bag of the day is just my little Philip Lim Mini Pashley. I've kind of gone for more of a cool toned outfit. Then I'll just pop my coat on too. And the coat I'm wearing today is from Kinder Salmon. I've had this for pretty much all of winter now and I really like it. It's one of the ones that I reach for quite frequently, especially if I'm wearing a lighter color palette. So this is kind of like a double face wool and I like the fact that the interior is slightly darker than the exterior of the coat. So, so there you have it. That is a full look at my outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's Tuesday today. I've just been doing a bit of work. I'm now currently getting ready because I need to head out. I'm going to be meeting up with my sister for lunch. It's her last day off before she starts her new job, which is really exciting. And then later this afternoon, I'm also going to a preview of the new Harris scarf spring summer collection. So that should be really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's pretty gloomy today. It's actually been raining. It started raining last night and it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow too. And it feels kind of cold. Um, I haven't really gone for maybe the most practical outfit just because something new arrived and I really wanted to talk about it. Uh, let's talk through my accessories first. I'm wearing these Madewell earrings. These are just a squiggly earring with a pearl. I've seen that they've just done the squiggle earring which I can link down below. Unfortunately this exact style is no longer available. My necklace is my Missima Interstellar necklace and I can't wait for the Black Friday sale because there's actually a few other things I'd like to get from Missima. I've been so happy with the two pieces that I bought last year. Uh, the ring that I am wearing is my Linear Siri wrap ring. Then for my outfit, the thing that actually arrived today that I really wanted to talk about is this cashmere sweater. This is from Nadam, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I was listening to a podcast with the founder and, and I think that's how they were pronouncing it. And I've heard so many things about this. I've heard so many good things about the brand and a lot of you had recommended it to me as a cashmere option. And I have to say, this, the sweater is super soft. I believe it's made from grade A cashmere. Uh, it is the thinnest cashmere sweater that I have, uh, definitely. I went with the oatmeal color. They do unisex sizing, so I'm wearing the small, and you can kind of see it's a pretty relaxed fit on me. I quite like the fact that it's oversized, but the sleeves are very long, so if you are petite, uh, that's just something to keep in mind because even the sleeves on the extra small are going to be very, very long. Um, I, oh, I will show you guys what the packaging looks like because I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Hang on one second. So this is all the packaging. So it comes with a few different things here. It looks like there are some brands that they're affiliated with. Um, and then it's got some information about how to also care for your cashmere and notes about pilling. Uh, it comes in this little plastic 
bag, which I guess I will try and repurpose for something else. Then it has tissue paper, and then this is actually the bag that it arrives in. So that's kind of a look at it. If you've been thinking about ordering, this arrived so quickly. I think it took five days from when I purchased it to arrive. I did recently read a very interesting article about cashmere, about the quality of it, and also why it can pill even if it is super soft. Um, so I'm gonna leave that link down below. It was just kind of interesting to me because it sort of clarified why some cashmere textures might be a little bit rougher. It means that they have been washed less, which means also that they are less likely to pill and deteriorate faster. So uh, there's some different counterbalances and that sort of thing, but just very fascinating, especially if you've been thinking about investing in a cashmere sweater. Sorry, I've been talking about this for ages. <laughs> Let me go on to the rest of my outfit. Um, my belt that I'm wearing today is just my Isabel Morant one. I just kind of wanted something in my waist and I thought that that would be an interesting detail. The skirt is a slip style skirt from MVN The Label. I really like the bias cut on this. I think it's very flattering and the length is really nice on me. My shoes are Eveline Day Heels and these are a fresh pair, finally. I have been meaning to replace my other ones for ages and finally got around to it and they just look so much nicer. They are very shiny unlike my other ones which are a little bit dull now that I, you know, I've had them for so long and actually haven't done any leather care to them. But yes, super comfortable. Um, I've got them in the US nine and a half. Coat wise, I've gone for this oatmeal coat from Kinder Salmon again. I like the length of it, the fact that it is just slightly shorter than the skirt and it really matches the color of the sweater that I got from Nardum Nicely. I think it's a really lovely compliment. And then the bag is the Eveline Mini Day Tote, which I've done a review on. I'm gonna leave that link down in the description box below if you wanna go and read it, but I really love this bag. I think it is so handy. And actually I think a good alternative if you were looking at the Celine Nano luggage tote which was something I have been thinking about buying I feel like this is a similar size it just doesn't have the zip up closure at the top so that is my outfit today I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is Wednesday today I just checked the temperature and it's about 12 degrees in Sydney at the moment it feels very very cold so um, I've kind of bundled up with a huge jacket today uh, I'm just gonna quickly run you through my outfit I'm gonna be heading out this afternoon because I've got a meeting in the city but essentially just sitting at my desk working all day, what's new? Um, earring wise, I am wearing my little linear huggies. I quite like these for just something very minimal and understated. Uh, I don't really have any other jewelry on aside from this, oh, aside from this chain bracelet from Majuri, which I really like because it's quite chunky. Then I kind of went for an all black outfit today. So I'm wearing a merino knit sweater from Marks and Spencer, which I really like. It's super comfortable. Um, there are so many other websites that do stuff like this though, so I will link some alternatives down in the description box, but it's just a nice sort of affordable option. My belt is my Isabel Morant belt. My jeans are my Dr. Denim skinny jeans, which are shaping up again to be one of my most worn items of the season. I just, I love these, they're so comfortable, and honestly, if they ever tore anything i'm gonna have to try to get them repaired because i don't know what i'd do without them my shoes are my eveline boss boots i thought i'd wear these just for a bit of extra warmth even though you can kind of see a glimpse of my ankle there these are super comfortable in terms of a walking shoe and then um i would just grab my coat so the coat combo i'm going for today is a little bit different than what you guys might be used to seeing me in i'm wearing a huge puffer jacket but like i said it is freezing and i actually really like the way this one looks it's the eveline renew parker i think is what it's called or the puffer um and i love the fact that it was made with recycled plastic bottles so kind of giving them a new life and it's pretty warm i mean for me here in sydney i find it perfect um and the uh, pockets are lined with a fleecy lining which is really nice i also have my um, acne studios scarf on layered underneath um on terms of sizing i'm wearing this in the extra small just in case that helps it is quite a big fit and i can put big snuggly sweaters on underneath it as well and then the bag that i'm wearing today is my eveline mini day tote again just because it was an easy option so there you have it that is kind of a look at the full outfit today i'll see you guys tomorrow 
morning guys so it is thursday today i've just been working on some video for a collaboration that i'm doing on igtv um and now i've just got to edit it but i thought i would show you my outfit before the lighting got a bit funny in the bedroom uh, accessories wise i am wearing my reliquary earrings i keep saying this but i don't know if i'd recommend them just because mine seem to have tarnished but i love the way they look still so i continue to wear them i do have a necklace on actually hang on i'm wearing my moo jewelry tarnet necklace i really like this i remember when i went home my yeah you know, was asking about it because it looks like a, a greek ancient greek coin my bracelet that i'm wearing today is again my little wrap bracelet from Majuri. Then for my sweater, I'm once again actually wearing that Nardum sweater. I have layered a little t-shirt underneath. This is just one of those oversized tees from Everlane in a stone color. And I haven't actually tucked this in. I've kind of worn it a little bit loose. Different for me, but I actually kind of like the way that looks. On my lower half, I'm wearing my Levi's skinny jeans, which are quite cropped on me, as you can see. <laughs> and I'm also wearing my little Charlotte Olympia kitty flats. I love these so much. I'm, I don't think I ever will get tired of these. I've been wearing these shoes essentially, well this style of shoe for eight years now and I just think they are so fun. So that's kind of a look at the outfit without my jacket on and because I do actually need to head out, I am going to wear a light jacket. It's gotten so much warmer today, unlike yesterday. I feel like it's around 19, 20 degrees. Hang on. So the jacket that I'm wearing today is a trench coat. This one is from m and and it is one that I got as part of a campaign I did quite a few months ago with them and I really love it. I think this is actually my favorite trench that I've got at the moment. It is made from a nylon so you can probably hear the sound of the fabric but I personally don't mind that. It's water resistant which I think is good and the color is just a great basic. And then my bag that I am wearing is my Kuyana half moon bag in the mock croc leather this actually comes in a wider thing as well and also in grained leather too but yeah there you have it that is a look at the full outfit today one more day of the work week tomorrow looking forward to the weekend for sure anyway that's it from me today i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is friday today i'm actually feeling a little bit tired i went out for dinner last night with a few of the girls that i used to work with at discovery and it ended up being kind of a longer night than i anticipated it's a little bit after 10 now i've just been to the groceries i always do my grocery shop on a friday morning because there are a lot less people at the supermarket and i just find it much easier i can get through the shop a lot faster uh, and i'm just going to be doing a bit of work for the rest of the day there's some photos that i want to shoot as well um in terms of what i'm wearing accessories wise i just have some earrings in these are my little madewell hoops with the pearls old but they do have the same style available now then for my outfit i've gone for kind of like a very simple sort of a casual friday look so the cardigan that i'm wearing is actually a pre-love purchase this is from vince and it's just very nice and cozy it has this beautiful weave to the fabric too which i really like i mean i love vince clothing it is a little bit more expensive but if you can buy it pre-loved i find that it's generally a little bit more affordable um and it's wool wool and yak which is a nice combo it's not itchy at all the top that i'm wearing underneath which i actually take this off in a second uh, it's a shirt from everlane which you can see i managed to get strawberry juice on here so i'm gonna have to pop this in the wash um later but there's one of their cotton lawn shirts and it's colorless i really like these i've actually got two of them i've got it in a black and white grid print as well which i think is very cool um my jeans are my asos farley mom jeans with the stepped hem unfortunately the style isn't available but they do just the basic ones my shoes are again my charlotte olympia kitty flats god i'm really loving wearing these they're so comfortable and i just feel like they kind of jazz up the outfit a little bit and make it feel a little bit more fun yeah so my bag is my everlane mini day tote which i've just been kind of wearing slung on my shoulder or cross body uh, let me just take this cardigan off and i'll give you a little bit of a closer look at the shirt so here you can kind of see the shirt a little bit better. Um, it doesn't have full sleeves, so it's three quarter length, which I actually kind of like, although it does make it a little bit awkward when you're tucking it into things because it kind of rides up and gets a little bit tight. So maybe undo the buttons. But this one here has a subtle stripe 
to it. You can actually see my bra through this, so it's not 100% opaque. It's a really soft, lightweight cotton, which is really nice. Sorry, please don't mind my strawberry stain. Um, yeah, the black one I think is really good too, just with the grid check, and I find a mandarin collar blouse really flattering. So that's it from me today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Sashay today. It's actually a really glorious day, super sunny outside. I spent my morning kind of shooting and I was filming a little video. Uh, not something I normally do on a Saturday, but I just wanted to take advantage of the good lighting. <laughs> it's actually lunchtime now, so I'm gonna go and make myself something to eat and then I've gotta do a bunch of chores after that, so that'll probably be me for the rest of the day. And so I'm just gonna be housebound. Um, in terms of accessories, I'm actually just wearing a bracelet. I'm wearing this little one here from Majuri, which you've seen a lot this week. And for my top, I am wearing something a little bit different. This is from Bowden. It's one of their cashmere sweaters. It's actually one of the pieces that really stood out to me when I went to their press preview earlier in the year. Uh, they very kindly gifted this to me. I'm actually wearing a medium because I wanted something really oversized. And I like the fact that there's a little bit of color there. So I kept the rest of my outfit very simple and very muted. So I'm wearing my Isabel Morant belt. And then I also have on my Eveline cheeky straight jeans, which are in the ankle length. And I wear these in a 25. They do give a little bit, especially in this bone denim, because it is quite a soft sort of a denim, but I personally don't mind that. And then on my feet, I am just wearing my Dior Slingback Flats, which I purchased pre-love from eBay. And honestly, I love these shoes so much. No bag for today, so that is it. That's just a really simple, cozy weekend look. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last outfit of the week. Hey guys, so it is Sunday today. It's about 10.30 in the morning, and I'm actually getting ready to go into the city. I'm meeting my friend Nikita. Um, she's actually a jewelry designer, and she's invited me along to a jewelry auction with her, which I'm really curious about. I've never been to anything like that before, so it should be a bit interesting, and it would just be fun for us to catch up as well. Um, Accessories-wise, um, let's quickly run you through. I'm wearing my little hoop earrings from Linya. My necklace is my Missima Interstellar necklace, and I have on a pearl, oh, a pearl ring from Majuri. The top that I'm wearing is a really old one from T by Alexander Wang. It's just a simple striped top, uh, which actually has a hole in it, but I love it so much. I'm probably going to be wearing this until it is threadbare. Then my blazer is my double-breasted one from Country Road. I'm really glad I picked this up. Actually, I wonder if I can show you the detail of the fabric. There's a very subtle um, diagonal stripe pattern th to the fabric which is really nice. The only downside to this is that being black, and I have this issue with most of the black items in my wardrobe, it picks up a lot of Winston's fur, um, but I really like the style and the fact that it's a little bit more of a fitted double-breasted blazer. I got this in my usual size, size 8, which is a first for in a very long time from Country Road because I find most of their things are very much vanity sized. My jeans are Again, my Dr. Denim jeans. I just love these and they go with everything. I love a good dark gray skinny. My shoes are my Dior slingback flats again today. So I wanted something very simple. And then the bag that I'm using is my Chanel Chevron boy bag. It's been a while since I used this and I kind of figured I wouldn't need too much on me today. So that is a look at the full outfit. So there you have it. That is my full week in outfits. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, I'd love to know which outfit was your favorite in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.